Space to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, oh, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it. You'll be fine. All right, last thing. Helmet and mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> you have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. All right, the mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a lug. Looks like a lift. Hmm. It's darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. stuck fast. Need to activate the generators.
How big is this place? Big? It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage itself is another part of the facility. See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the Pentelnecks put it through more stress than you ever will. Okay, um... Another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Why walk when you can swim? Have a look over there. Oh uh, yeah. Oxygen sticks. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In suit oxygen resupply. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Hello, you. to the garage. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Wait. Are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Oh, Stan. It's lovely. Clouds and little birds. Soothing. <laughs> Very funny. And there she is. The moon. Pride of the Unitrench fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk. But good enough for the likes of you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kit. Now you're a fully qualified Unitrench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. You'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. I know the drill. Flaps and rudder. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. Ha. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Think of it like swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. But all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Doors work. 
working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation. Uh, Kay. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. There she is. Told you it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see it. Heading there now. Snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there, it's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But uh, try not to run into it. I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna... sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... Hey. Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay, cozy. I got you. It does, um... Is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merck's a glorified calculator, but he'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm. Pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrend's employees. Uh-huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. 
Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. Hello, user Stanley Moray. Update downloaded. Packet size, 300 kilobytes. Time taken, 3 weeks, 6 days. Daisy. Daisy. Assistant. The title suits me well. Today's fact of the day. Uni Trench was the first commercial drilling company to use unmanned drones. Neat. Today's fact of the day. Uni Trench was the first commercial drilling company to use unmanned drones. Neat. Huh. Crafting table. I had a whole training module on this thing. Raw materials go in. Useful stuff comes out. Very fancy. Hmm. Deactivated. Uh, is this thing on? Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these. Well, should hang them up at some point. Without drilling any holes. the rest of the day is your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. I should probably check in with Emma. Weather off the coast continues to be unseasonally calm. Great news for the local sailing regatta set to start tomorrow morning. Guess this thing's my only company down here. Not having Emma around is... It's gonna take some time getting used to. Ah, damn things frozen shut. That could be an issue. All right, seems simple enough. Hmm. Not bad, considering what I went through. I can make this work. Oh, hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. <sighs> hmm, a little more complicated than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. Oh. Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't... Uh, what we said before I left, you, you said you needed space, right? And I needed space, so... So, yeah, this is space. Uh, just... Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the, the line should be fixed by now, but... Yeah, it's Unitrent, so... Who knows? I miss us. I miss... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you should... You should get to bed.
Who is this for? I'm the only one down here and they already bagged me. Big day tomorrow? Best get some shut eye. This isn't right. This isn't. First day down here and bad dreams already. <sighs> Good morning, Stanley. It is 7.32 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of March. I hope you have a productive day. <sighs> Is there any coffee on this wreck? Checking. Yes. 10 kilograms of happy morning instant coffee remaining. Great. Those cars. Uh, what is wrong with you? Why can't you just let it go? This'll come in handy. Should anything untoward happen? Pretty detailed. The area seems well mapped. Ah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sounds like Tim's calling. Morning, Tim. There he is. 
How was the first night? It was, uh... It was good. Yeah. If the whole giant oil conglomerate thing doesn't work out, Unitrench has a bright future in mattresses. Only the best for our chosen few. Now, ready to start the day? Raring. Right then. Head on over to the job board to your right there. We'll post up the daily tasks each morning. Simple as that. Simple as that. See you out there. Hello, user Stanley Moray. Found it by a bunch of surfers to keep the oceans clear of plastic and the like. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be great. Uh, is this thing on? Should unpack at least. Must have cost a fortune to get all this stuff down. Should unpack at least. Must cost a fortune to get all this stuff down. All right. He seems easy enough, relatively speaking. Everything breaks down here. It's just a question of time. Well, there's the view at least. Said you wanted to get away. Nowhere more away than this. It's so... serene. I could lose myself in that blue. Wonderful. Just keep your head on. Don't get lost. One less bottle in the sea. Hmm. Thank God for internal heating systems. Last time was, you know, nice, but this, this feels like the real deal. That it is. Nothing quite like it. Back when you started, must have been different. You'd hardly recognize it. Bear in mind, I'm... Definitely a leak here, Tim. Gartman. Something pouring out of a pipe. Yep. Confirmed on our end. Run off from the refinery. Horrible stuff. Okay. Not to worry. Follow the pipe there until you reach the flow control. That should stop it. Roger. The company's been pushing the system pretty hard of late. Never been more demand. 
out of manufacturing, consumer demand, wars, that sort of thing. It means there might be more leaks, small ones, you know, popping up every now and again. Keep an eye out. do nicely. Typical unit trench. Dump and forget. be inside. Thank you. 
Mike seems to be...